Hey, I'm here with Dr. John Minichetti, the implant daddy. How are you, John? A pleasure. I'm doing great, buddy. And I have a question. Yes. I have a question because you don't know how much uh, they ask me about delay load. These are patients. Oh, yeah, of oh, yeah. course. Patients yeah. asking me, like, why do you do the delay load? Right. If you have so many clinics in the States in America that they're saying, hey, did in a day. Hey, you're going to go out with a full arch and you're going to have temps attached to those implants. What do you think about that? Okay, so well, there's always advantages and disadvantages for any procedure. Yeah. But if you look at some of the history and you look at some of the literature that supports the history, mm -hmm. there are definitely more risks when you're doing implants in immediate load. So what's the difference? Delayed load means placing an implant, allowing the bone to fuse or harden around it before mm -hmm. putting pressure on it. Yes. And immediate load is just to put a restoration, start putting pressure on that implant while it's healing. Mm -hmm. So we know that if we do more steps in one time, we mm -hmm. have more risks. Yes. Not to say that that cannot work, but we do increase patient risk. Even if it's a temporary? Even if it's a temporary, it's the same. But it's acrylic. <laughs> That's what they say, not me. Uh, I'm a delay That's low right. doctor. That's right. But yeah. they're selling that and they're Absolutely. placing full arches and they say, hey, I'm going to have, I'm going to walk out with screw retained temporaries. Right. Right. The problem is not the <clears throat> temporary, is not the acrylic, it's going to be probably not the connection, but the pressure that they're going to continue Correct. biting and the micro fractures that they can have in the bone because those implants are placed with Newtons, with yes. probably 40 Newtons, they are inside the bone, but the bone is trying to understand what's happening. What's happening. <laughs> I have an implant there. Who's this guy? We need to try to adapt to that implant. But then they put this stress. What makes you think that they put here a temporary and it's going to be hitting, 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 hitting. What's going to happen here? So you have a high risk. That's what, I, that's what I tell my patients. Well, you definitely have higher <laughs> risk of a, a bone remodeling and implant yeah. failure with immediate load. The studies show that. And you have no difference in the aesthetic success of placing an immediate implant. Because you may hear some people say, gee, you take out the teeth and just put them in the same day because now they're going to look better. There's nothing to support that. You can get just as good aesthetics from delayed versus immediate. Now I have another question for you. <clears throat> what happens if they are talking about, hey, you can have your implants, your full arches, you're gonna walk out with immediate temporaries. What happens if something goes wrong? Like you have a 50-50 chance of something going wrong about an implant <coughs> failure, which the correct word is not an implant failure, it's more a bone rejection. Correct. What happens to the bone around and what happens to that? It resorbs, you lose more bone than you started with. That's the, that's the del deleterious effects <laughs> of failure and immediate implant place. So do you think they should tell the patient, okay, I'm going to do immediate load. But you would be at increased risk. Increased That's what you need risk, to tell patients. Probably 50-50. And then if something goes wrong, we need to remove the implant. You're going to lose lots of bone. You need to put more grafting there. Mm -hmm. And now you need to wait how many months? Four to six months. Four to six months. And then start again. Yes. To put another implant if you have enough amount of bone. Correct. So those are the hidden things that, and I'm telling you that you should ask your doctors because you don't know how many patients they ask me that. Hey, yes. but they telling me that they can do immediate correct, load. Correct. I can do immediate load. You can do immediate Absolutely. load. Absolutely. And we We've do. Done. We We've do. It. And it's very case selective. Yes. You've got to be very careful. You have four types of bone. And usually all patients, 70% of the patients, they are not like the best bone. Correct. Probably you have high smokers. Mm -hmm. You have uh, patients that they do lots of meds and, and many things, systemics yes. and things like that. What makes you think that your bone's going to be like strong, hard, even if you reach the Newtons that you need to reach? Absolutely. Why do we need immediate load? So that was one question that I had for you because uh, you don't know how many patients they ask me and they say, but they promise and they even promise that even without seeing the patient. So that's going to be more like a marketing. It is. Uh, it is. Like a marketing thing. Yep. Dr. Minichetti, the implant daddy. Thank you, my friend. My pleasure. You, my pleasure. Bye-bye.